Try as I might, I couldn't think of anything I'd done that could have landed me in Zero's game. I hadn't pissed anyone off, at least not this bad. I didn't owe anybody money, and my family certainly wasn't rich. If anyone was hoping to get a fat ransom payoff for me, they were going to be very disappointed. Obviously, I wasn't some kind of genius, nor was I an Olympic athlete, and I certainly hadn't been chosen by God to fulfill some great purpose on his earth. Well, he's not very full of himself, is he? Yeah, right? At least if I was, I didn't know it yet. <laughs> Had I started a fight with a frightened and mysterious new religion? No. Had I hacked into some terrorist group server? N no. <laughs> Had I witnessed an assassination? No. Had I gotten wasted and gone a had a one night stand with the mistress of a prominent politician? Well, yes. Uh, uh, what? Excuse me? All right. <laughs> who, what? But it was just the one time. And she was the one who went after me. <laughs> what is happening? Anyway, I was just an ordinary college student. You're in college doing this shit? If there was a reason I'd been abducted and put in the nonary game, I sure couldn't see it. Why was this happening to me? I thought back to what I'd been doing right before I was taken. The memories were still a little blurry, but they were there. W were they there? Or you're acting like you couldn't remember. <laughs> then we find out that you have a history with a little with another girl from your elementary school, and you Ew. camped out to deal with whoever was killing the rabbits. Who's giving this monologue? Is it me? December 25th, 2028. Early morning, California desert. They're writing about Americans? The moon was beautiful. I, that's you. <laughs> oh, it is me? Yeah. The moon was beautiful. <laughs> I just finished writing a paper that day, or due that day, and was heading to my car from the research building. The parking lot was empty, and a bright moon cast sharp shadows across the chilly pavement. The last time I looked at the clock, and it said it was two in the morning, which meant that today was Christmas Day! <laughs> so why was I at school, typing away feverishly on Christmas? There were three reasons. First, my home computer had suddenly decided to eat shit. When I hit the power button, I just got nothing. I didn't have the time to spend all night troubleshooting the stupid thing, so I headed back to the campus to use one of the school machines. I'm trying to remember how college worked now, because surprisingly that's hard to remember all of a sudden. Because uh, it's been enough years now. Yeah. I, I could have sworn Quis Christmas was between semesters. Yeah, you get Christmas break. Like, do you, do you have your finals at the semester's end and then Christmas happens, then the next semester starts? Yeah. I thought that's how it was, which means you wouldn't have a paper due. Yeah, but Japanese people don't do that. Yeah, but it's in California. <laughs> yeah, Oops. but Japanese people don't do that. Oopsie! So. Wait, you thought the fucking writer of 999 is gonna do research? <laughs> Freaking... Yeah, I'm like, I don't remember doing anything during Christmas break. I, I think that was between semesters, but yeah, it's been it enough years that I've kind of fogged up no, on it. No, because remember, you that's the end of the year, so that's the, the last semester of the year, and then you start back up in the, uh... Um... Oh no no! It's hard to remember. Maybe you just get a maybe you just get like a break. Maybe it's like spring break. There is a Christmas, Christmas break. break. I just don't remember if the semester split is on Christmas or not. I'm trying to think. I it might be. It's been a. It's this is weirdly harder to think of than you think it would be, right? Yeah. It's you like think how the our, days that you got off of school. It's the how our entirely our entire lives were scheduled at one point, and we're like, I'm not sure. <laughs> I also don't know because I'm. My school is just... whenever. <laughs> Second! The professor in charge of my research group was a Buddhist. Christmas didn't appear to have any sort of significance to him, and part of me couldn't shake the thought that he was trying to make some kind of point. Third! My girlfriend had broken up with me about a week before. I'm... I'm sorry! <laughs> I don't think we should see each other anymore. You would talk like I am in the dark. I sound like this. <laughs> you want me to give her a worse voice? 
I give her a voice. No, it's like that's the reason she broke up with no, him is yeah. for talking uh, like you like he's like she sounds like that. It was <laughs> how he always talks about her. <laughs> Goodbye. All I got was that one cold email. Try as I might, I couldn't even get in touch with her. Of course, that meant I wouldn't be attending the party we'd been planning on going to. Somehow, I didn't think drinking by myself around a bunch of happy couples would really be a good idea. At any rate, I stayed up all night to finish my paper and emailed it off to my professor before the sun began to rise. As I walked across the parking lot, I felt light. Perhaps it was the relief of finishing my paper. Or perhaps it was the five energy drinks I took to stay awake. Perhaps it was both. Yeah, you would not feel light from a five energy drinks. I mean, you would feel lightheaded. You would feel like a brick on legs. Ow. You'd just be like stumbling and feverish. <laughs> feverish. <laughs> and very tired while in a, incapable of sleeping. It's not a good time. I feel like this is from experience. Yeah. I slid into my car and struck the key into the ignition after only two tries. He looks like a different person every time I see his face. Because he is a different person. I twisted the key. <laughs> Nothing happened. <laughs> That's the sound the engine made. It just... just <laughs> your car just bur burps and then silence. <laughs> I'm doing Foley now. <laughs> I'm really committed to this game. Huh? Why even bother? <laughs> like, really, why even bother with the dialogue? That was the one piece of real-time dialogue. Yeah. I jiggled the key in the slot and tried again. And again. And again. We have a verbosity problem again. They do. On the fifth try, the engines made an odd creaking noise, like metal on metal, and fell silent. Like, another rider would be like, I was I was trying to start my car, and it just wasn't working. And then you move on. Yeah. <laughs> but it's like multiple paragraphs of, like, play-by-play, -play and, and again, and again, and again. <laughs> That's what cars sound like. God damn it! <laughs> you stupid piece of shit! I screamed and pounded on the steering wheel, but nothing worked. That's that's not how cars work. I don't. A steering wheel isn't even part of car, <laughs> anything. Really. It's like, really just a. It's really like a winch. It's, yeah, it's just a knob. Or it's just yeah. It's just a. It's just a single chunk of thing that has no machine parts in it. No. The console was about to get a visit from my first. When he's not good at cars, <laughs> he's not good at life. <laughs> I will attack my car. That'll fix it. I mean, he was drunk. He's trying Tinder to play a Street Fighter mini game on his own car. Huh? What? What the hell is this? Why is my car smoking? I thought it quit. I clawed at the door, and for a moment I thought that it was just my panic and lack of sleep that were keeping me from opening it. It wasn't long before I realized the truth. Shit! Open, goddammit! What was going on? My mind was racing, trying desperately to puzzle out what was happening through a haze of fear and caffeine fueled neuron misfires. <laughs> Zero was weirdly slow on the take, weren't they? Like, all right, he's in the car, and they're like, let's just wait for him to figure out the car's not working, and then eventually I'll we'll gas him. <laughs> we gotta let him stew for a while. <laughs> like, he didn't just immediately gas him. That was when I saw it. Just a glimpse in the rearview mirror, but I was certain there was someone behind my car. It was a rabbit. <laughs> I spun around as fast as a very tired college student sitting in a car can. Which is none. Mainly because he can't spin in a car seat. <laughs> True. How did you get that costume again? Who, who's there? Yeah, the, I'm, I look forward to the explanation of why they're dressed exactly like June was. <laughs> or Santa, I mean. It June was, was Santa all Yeah, it was Santa, not June. Yeah. Whoops. My vision started to swim as the smoke filled the car. The more of it I inhaled, the heavier from my body felt, and I could already feel the world starting to go dark. 
The last of my strength failed, and I collapsed sideways into the passenger seat. My eyes slowly drooped closed. Okay. When they opened again, I was in the AB room with V. Someone else talk? <laughs> no. Why is this happening to me? <laughs> I mean, you're only making the wor the voice worse, honestly. It's getting more severe. Is it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. I spent a few days wallowing in misery. I figured I deserved at least a little self-pity. But even I knew that, that brooding and whining wasn't going to get me anywhere. Like I had said, we need to get we need to at very least try and find another way out. So I shook my head to clear it, stood up straight, and headed off. Oh, we make a choice now. Right, we're in the we can wander around and check places out part of the game, right? Yeah. So we were at the crew quarters originally. Yeah, we might as well try out a different location, right? Yeah. So they were, weren't they saying we're doing another vote? I think so. We're going to do another vote soon for the door. Uh, Did, didn't... Huh? Oh, that's the previous log. If you press up too many times, it doesn't skip to the bottom. It opens this. Oh, interesting. Yeah, that's a whole thing. Huh. Do you notice how we learned, like, nothing? Well, yeah, we just found out he got gas, which I, we, we already... We knew already? Which we already assumed. We just got a really long version of the gassing story. The only real reveal is that you're single. <laughs> and ready so, to mingle. So now, uh, Japanese video game protagonist man is totally safe to hook up with whoever he meets here. Because he's single, baby. A.K.A. Fee, because Japanese people only hook up with the first person they interact with. That was basically the only new piece of information. We already knew he got gassed in his car. Now we know he got gassed in his car at college, I guess. Which, sure. I guess he's a college student? I, I don't guess know what that changes. I guess that's technically new information. I just don't know if any of that's relevant. I'm trying to think of why the why Zero's doing it this time, because now we have the context of why they were doing it last time, and how do the the sent how non -over games work with the whole like weird parallel realities thing that's going on. Yeah. Like we have some sort of incentive. Like last time the non -over game was happening because it had to happen because June was like trapped in this loop or whatever, and we had to save her from it or something. It's kind of really hard to even afterwards explain what the first game was about. Uh, so I'm thinking like, okay, so look, let's look at the list of characters in this game. Which one might have some kind of tie to the Nanora games? Because we're hours and hours in at this point, so I'm trying to anticipate anything. But we just don't have characters yet. So I can't really anticipate anything. All I have to go on is Grandma's a horned dog. And uh, it turns out that uh, Egyptian girl is uh, totally uh, selfish and a shithead. Yeah. Uh, that's what we've learned so far. <laughs> but, like, there aren't really people with backstories and histories and personalities yet. So, like, I have nothing to go on for, like, trying to grasp at what's going on yet. Yeah. So, pretty much just flailing. Lounger Infirmary, I think. Uh... Let's just do Lounge, I guess? First choice. Are we just going by ourselves, or is someone's people coming with us, or... Like... I believe we're going into the, what, with the other, where essentially the other puzzle chambers, right? Yeah. That's weird to think about, because we're not solving them, because they're already solved. Yeah. So I guess we're checking them out? Maybe someone else will be here and we can have a scene with them? Or maybe, maybe we can find... Oh. oh. Hey, Sigma. Weren't... Wait, weren't... No. What? Remember, that was when he was talking about when he woke up. Oh, right. That was him waking up from his vision. I thought he was waking up from his, like... You, yeah, you're talking about him waking up from being knocked out. I thought he was yeah. waking up from his, like, flashback. Oh. And Fee was on the ground. So I was confused. Can I get you a seat? Are you some kind of waitress? What do you want? Why? Why do you... What is wrong with you, What is Clover? wrong with Clover? It's Clover. actually really concerning. Like, I... You... You... <sighs> Somebody designed that character. This is your- and It's not just their costume, it's the way she be- her poses yeah. are confusing. You like- you, this is literally your third nonary game, and I know you succeeded in two of them, so you may be a little bravado about going to a third one, but let's be real here. You're wearing a lot less clothes, and you have way less reason to actually be here because your brother's not even here, so you know it has nothing to do with, like, the time parallel universe thing. 
because they're not pairing people off together. I'm just kind of wondering about the intention of her character design because the first thing you would think is that she's supposed to be like a fan service character or something like that. Yeah. But r the real takeaway is that she's had so much trauma as a child that she's like completely strung out on drugs and just selling herself and like that's like that's what the <laughs> What do you think Miley like a Clover, That's the implication. Clover through, like a Miley Cyrus thing? The the costume she's wearing and the way she conducts herself, she feels like one of those really desperate drug heads from like Breaking Bad, like one of those tragic side stories. The people that are just completely fucked up at this point because they don't know how to live anymore, which, I mean, after going through two death games as a child, uh, you might not have great prospects for your future. I mean, she may just want to live it up while she's alive and not in a death game for once. So, you know, maybe she's just trying to be promiscuous and having a good time because she never knows, like now, when she's going to be in another fucking death game because apparently notary games just aren't a government-sanctioned illegal thing at this point. Uh, maybe she has allergies. To clothes? No. <laughs> I mean, like, it's just... She, like, she touched her eye a little bit and now it's itching and she's trying to keep it closed and ignore it for as long as possible because if she does it anymore, it'll just keep getting worse. Then why is she, like, protruding her tits at me? <laughs> I don't know nothing about this costume. I don't like, need... I don't need her to, like, hold her head her back pose is and so be, like, confusing. pushing her chest forward, basically, and be yeah, like... Yeah, she's like... She's framing her midriff and she's hourglassing her arms and she's winking at us and she's dressed like that for some reason, which I mean sure you all get kidnapped and everything, so sure, but Yeah, where'd she get kidnapped from? The club? Yeah. Although I do question why the uh, a mummy girl's ever dressed like that, ever. Well we also questioned why Lotus was dressed like that. But we but Lotus was a dancer, wasn't she? A dancer who can't dance if her clothes literally just reveal her. But I'm just I'm baffled by wear Alice would wear that top that was just a weird ring she's a mummy she doesn't have to impress anybody <laughs> she's some she's been in society for the last 10 years or whatever probably what do you mean what do I want I just came here to check up on you guys wait were they did they say they were going to the lounge I don't remember maybe that. it's been a week oh boy since that conversation oh boy whoa what's that l l o i i l i Lion? Lion? The the Lilo? So... This is a lounge, huh? A bar. A sofa. And three ladies. I feel like I'm in the VIP room. Can I get you a drink? You better not be underage. I turned 21 just the other day. <laughs> I see. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting weirdly flustered when that's not... It's the drinking age, not the... <laughs> it's the wrong age. <laughs> well, it's the right age for her to drink with me. <laughs> well, I guess we could probably have a drink or two then. Unfortunately, as much as... Or as much fun as that sounds like, I don't think it's a very good idea. Why not? What? This isn't really a good time to be getting wasted! Really? It seems like this sort of thing is exactly what makes people want to drink in the first place. D do you know from experience? Did you want to drink as a kid when you're going through death games? I don't- what are you what trying to say to look me? Look at her pose. Her pose is like way too hype about She's this. She's Chun-Li after she wins. <laughs> Yeah, she's like way too excited about this. Her mouth is death open because she's saying "yatta, <laughs> yatta." Uh, what are you, you alien person? Hmm. You've got a point. Sigma. I'm just kidding. It's made more confusing by the fact that these people behave like people. Also, dress like people. Yeah. Besides, I've got a headache. Drinking is probably not the best plan. I guess we should have gone to the infirmary then. It hasn't gone away yet? Well, it was fine for a while, but now I guess the bastard's back. Are you alright? Yeah, I'm sure if I just leave it alone, it'll go away in a bit. That's how it went before, anyway. Has this been happening to anyone else? What? The headaches? Uh-huh. I did get one a bit ago. I feel fine now, though. What about you, Luna? Um, you know, I think I did have a bit of a headache earlier. 
Not me. No headaches here. Well... Well, what? It's hard to explain. I just feel kind of weird. Your head feels weird? Is it a period? Are you on your period? I would guess that even if she has, uh... Let's call them nonary moments. Uh, <laughs> she probably doesn't get headaches from them anymore after how many times it's happened. That's what were the, what was it called? Do you remember what it was called? Was it called something? The vision brain thing that happens. Oh, it was. It has definitely named because it was like the core conceit of the previous game. Yeah. But the term, the name of it, is totally lost. Yeah, I don't it. remember I don't what remember it. what they called it in universe. No. No, my body feels weird. Yeah, that's a period. You're on your period. Like my whole body. Uh, oh. late, late bloomer. That's... Do you feel kinda... numb? I think I've got the same thing. It's kind of like a... Hmm. Like when you fall asleep on top of one of your arms. Because you just had to make it a period joke now because you said you have the same thing. I'm just thinking of the episode where Butters is like, you, Guys, I'm on my period! <laughs> and he just thinks he's having a period, but he's like, I think he's just like... Shitting out Chipotle or something. Yeah. That's bloody. <laughs> and then when you wake up, that arm kind of feels like it's not really yours anymore. It's not just my arm, though. My whole body feels like kind of numb and foreign. I think that's a stroke. No, I think that's when your mind has been transplanted into a body that's not yours because you're traveling through time. I think. I think. It, I think it's a stroke. Could also be a stroke. <laughs> Usually, numb, weird numbness is often a sign of a heart attack or a stroke or something. Hmm. I don't know. I guess it's kind of like that, but... Oh, if that's what you're talking about, then yeah, I know what you mean. Really? It's kind of like my body isn't really mine. I'm sort of floating. Like that? Yeah! Exactly! Maybe it's because of the anesthetic gas. That's a very fucking good thought. Yeah, we don't know what was in that gas. <laughs> yeah, we all recovered from being drugged today. Yeah, it could literally be PCP. I don't we, don't, we have no idea what was in that gas. <laughs> like... The one now? It might have looked like white smoke. The stuff they used when they abducted you. Did your character really just say the what now after just finishing the vision about the memory of being gassed? Keith, look, let God me tell you something. Uh, because I don't think you're understanding how majestic... S how stupid Sigma is? How majestic the story of this game and this franchise is, but we need to re-explain things multiple times because you don't get it. Because you're a dummy, and you don't get it. <laughs> dummy. Remember the white smoke in the car? Of course you don't. That was like five minutes ago. Then he turned the key again, and again, and again. Because you, you... And again. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, right. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ. We're actually it's replaying it. Conscious for a long time, so it must have been pretty powerful stuff. I'm going to be honest with you, Keith. I don't understand who signed off on this. I think this game's designed to be played for 5 minutes at a time once a week. <laughs> That's how much time they think is going to pass between 10 minutes of cutscenes. Well, I think that the goal was for you to play it on the on the train to work, that's so maybe it Jap is five that's minutes. That's what a lot of Japanese games are made to be, yeah. You might think this be, uh, you might think this, that. Yeah. You think this might be some kind of side effect? Well, it could be a side effect, or it could be that it just hasn't worn off completely yet. Do you need water or something? You're probably going to take you wearing yourself down? Yeah, I think my... Don't turn. <clears throat> Whatever. That's not important. Right now we need to figure out how to get out of here. All right. I'll have to look somewhere else then. You guys go and with me. You guys. <laughs> you guys going to stick around here? <laughs> Trying to take it seriously immediately breaks me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> taken a good look at everything yet. Andrew was taking a drink if that was somehow not clear. No, Keith just really wanted to do it. He was I inspired. just wanted in on it. Okay. Catch you later then. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> I wave goodbye and headed toward the exit. Where to next? Uh, wait, that was all we're doing here? Uh, yeah, so this, 
So now we're just talking to everybody. Well, more specifically, we have to facilitate the part where we're going to talk to everyone, but one character is probably going to be gone, and we're not going to see them in any of the scenes, and, and they're going to turn up dead or disappeared. This, this is this is the part of the story where things got fucked. And I don't mean, like, fucked as in, like, good or bad. I mean, fucked as in, like, the characters got fucked as far as the plan goes. Yeah. Because first we went through door four or five, and it was no big deal. And then it was like, oh, let's split up and look around because these things are dismantled. And then Snake disappears, and then everything goes to hell for the rest of the playthrough. Right. Yeah, 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 and yeah. And so yeah. now we're just conveniently shuffling amongst the remaining space and not using the buddy system. <laughs> and so much. Well, no, disappear. Sigma's not using the buddy system. Yeah. Everyone else is using the buddy system because they're all in the same room. Yeah. So somehow we're the asshole. Yeah. Yeah. Well... Weren't we reshuffled? Aren't we paired with... We're paired Waitress with Luna. Now? Yeah. So we're paired with Luna. Is Clover solo right now? I think, uh, I think... I think Clover and Fi were both solo. They might be. So yeah, we're just not sticking with Luna. Do you think Luna's a better teammate than Fi? Probably, right? No, because Fi is like best girl, so they have is to she? make... Yeah, oh yeah, so they have to make... I mean, she hugged us at the end. No girl is gonna hug Sigma <laughs> unless there was like... Unless like plot dictated that she is best girl. <laughs> Trust me on that. I'm alarmed by your anime terms. They are concerned. <laughs> best girl. Infirmary. I'm inferring that she is best girl. Yeah, we're definitely in the walk around the hallways because we're searching for mechanisms or whatever. I don't really to need to see, like, the dot moving all the way down. You could just, like, point me at the door. It's fine. We yeah. kind of, we, we eventually missed it in the later, in the last game when they were jumping huge distances off camera. True. And we're like, where are we? Okay. Oh. Everyone's oh. favorite character. So, this is the infirmary, huh? That's your first reaction, not so. This is the bitch that doomed me, huh? <laughs> I feel like this is a little more accurate. Right? Oh, Sigma. Oh, hi, nice to meet you here. I uh, hope you didn't take the attempted murder seriously. <laughs> Alice. What's up with your face? You look like you just saw a roach. Are you still angry? She's just has no one ever she's hit like, her for the things she says before. I mean, she's a she's technically a queen or a pharaoh, so no. And to be clear, this isn't like a misogynist like shut up woman moment. This is she's so insufferable. How has she never been struck by a person that she speaks to? In period. This yeah. Like how, how? She just attempted to kill a person. It's okay to punch a woman for that. Like, oh my goodness. <laughs> of course. I'm teetering on the brink of the abyss thanks to you. I didn't have a choice. I'm just trying to get out of here like we all are. You literally had two choices. That's the, the it was the definition of having a choice. You <laughs> fucking bitch. And that's enough to justify screwing someone else over? That's not what I meant and you know it. If I'd known for sure that you were going to choose ally, then I would have chosen ally too. <laughs> Easy for you to say that now. What? Ooh! Get him, Dio! Dio's best character. Dio, boy! Am I such a horrible person for wanting to get out of here? Uh, when do we get paired with Dio? I mean, at the expense of other people's lives? Yeah, you are a horrible person. Yeah. Like, is, that, is that not aware? Yeah. Is that not why is... we picked Ally? Because we're not horrible people who yeah. want to kill other this, people to get out? This, like... is, this is literally us showing the darkness of humanity, basically. <laughs> That's like the premise. God, and the fact yeah. that you didn't, the fact that you chose the shitty cynical choice, uh, yeah, you don't, you don't get to like walk that back and pretend that, that you had an excuse. Also, I want to point out, because I, I want to point out before I get mad about it, your necklace thing is actually curving over your breasts. It appears, yeah. That's not how metal works, especially not. I mean, gold is malleable, but I mean, like it could not be, that it malleable. Could be crafted to be shaped that way. If it was, then that's some really specific really, to his, her body shaped yeah. thing. It's also going to increase sag over time, right? Because literally pressing her boobs down, so it's probably not great for aging. I don't know how much it weighs. Like, well, it's, it seems to be solid metal of some kind. I think it's just weighing down something that generally you want to support and not weigh down. That's why bras kind of exist. <laughs> it's doing the opposite of its the of its actual function. Hmm. 
It's weird. Yeah, I don't I don't know. I mean, also given the fact that she is I guess they're like stuck to her boobs though, so they're not weighing them down cuz like and, and how's the really heavy eye makeup going to work long term for tonight? Like those games are long. Like is she is Well, they're only a day. Get, yeah, it's a let's but she already had a day before she got kidnapped. It's like the, the, I feel like the 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 way we makeup's only gonna smear and degrade over time and get in her eyes and become a life threatening problem and all these things. Hmm. I don't know. I have to get out of here. There's so many things I still want to do. That's everyone. That's called being human and not suicidal. Is it buying a new shirt? <laughs> Is that on their list? Is that on your list? We find out that she was kidnapped on laundry day. <laughs> uh, it's like this is the last thing left in her closet. It's like not even a shirt. She just put on something so she wasn't naked. She looks like a sea animal that cut, like a cut caught in a soda, a soda thing. Yeah. <laughs> the, the eight pack. <laughs> I, like what? Well, let's see. I want to wear lots of gorgeous clothes. No, you don't. You literally don't own any of them apparently right now because you're wearing this. Like, she wears. She has a jacket that's specifically designed to not work as clothing. You're wearing snake's it only jacket. It only covers her top half of her back and her forearms. She's just wearing snake's jacket with this golden tit holder. Like, I don't. <laughs> I don't know what you think gorgeous clothes mean, but like that's this. This outfit isn't one of them, girl. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It's so confusing. Also, is your hand like also, going through your Also, did you commission boobs? people to specially craft like I'm a revived Egyptian mummy costume? I think she just came in because it like it has a scarab thing and it's just confusing. It actually has a scarab beetle gem. <laughs> I want to eat tons of delicious food and Would fall in love. Fall in love? No one's gonna love you looking like that, girl. Especially not when you're gonna kill them to get out of a fucking room. Like what an idiot. Oh my god, who? Ted? Ted? you're my hero. Thank you. At least somebody understands. Excuse me? Yeah, ex yeah, you're excused. And I was going to take your side, but after that load of horse shit, you're on your own. <laughs> this old man better live the whole game. He knows what's up. Damn! Damn! <laughs> Timoyoji. Tim Look. Let me try this again. No. <laughs> I'm frustrated. But there really is something important I have to do. <laughs> Which is? Avenge my father's murder. That's what I have to do. Wait, aren't you, aren't you, the, aren't you, aren't you the mummy? Like, that's like fucking a thousand years ago. I, I don't, I... <laughs> I, I, I don't want to... the plot twist that she's not that character? Because it seems like she's that character. She looks the same. She has the same name. She has a fucking... She's wearing literally an Egyptian she... scarab around her yeah, neck. She has, she has the, her neck. the pharaoh makeup on. If you're going to tell me this is a, like a... Divorce, how, are you do, how do you avenge if, the death of somebody who died hundreds of years ago? If this, if this woman is a fucking red herring and she's not the actual mummy... Then that's some fucking ch cheating, you basically. Are, you are scum. You called her all ice... You made her a mummy. You or you made her dress like she's from Egypt, some pharaoh from Egypt, and then you're talking about like she's you know like she's all mysterious. But Clover knows her, and the only reason Clover would know her is because they met her hitchhiking on the after side of the nine road nine nine. after nine nine nine. Camera. If you're gonna come up to me and be like, actually the mummy was zero all along, I'd be like, I just just die, just wake me up. Wake you, me up is, she gonna, is she gonna fight a ghost? A ghost? Is she gonna go fight a ghost also, that's yeah, for what, ghost dad? Do you not know what current year it is? Like, <laughs> the, you're well, a thousand years too late to kill a guy that killed your father. I don't... Sorry, Antonio Bendez. Unless her father was also frozen. And also lived all the way until now, and then just gets killed. <laughs> that would be an impressive... That's a long con. Like, yeah. goddamn. He just got hit by a car. <laughs> wow. What happened to him? Could you elaborate on that? No, I couldn't. Oh, no, no, no. okay. This, <laughs> this is the kind of thing I should be telling people I don't even know. But people you're willing to murder. <laughs> Find a way out. Fine. Just tell me one thing. Does your father's murder have anything to do with us being trapped here? I have no idea. As to why you're here, your guess is as good as mine. 
but it's possible that his death is connected to my abduction. Meeting? I was on their trail. I was tracking down the people who killed him. How close were you? I can't say. What? But it's possible that I was getting close enough that they decided something had to be done with me. Are you a detective? Well, I wouldn't really say I'm a detective. Not a bad guess, though. Oh wait, mm, uh, mm, ch 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 Are you are you a are, are you a police officer? Are you a F private F investigator? Are you are you FBI? Private investigator. Uh, 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 okay, uh, uh, Jessica Jones. Uh, uh, but, uh, <laughs> but you're a mummy. Like, how do how do you how did you even learn English? Mummy PI. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Netflix. Netflix, come on, Mummy P.I. Oh, yeah, from the perspective of this original, the original version of this game, she speaks really fluent Japanese for a, an entombed mummy. Right? Look, even Tim Wyoji's like, I don't know about Why this. Why are you guys looking at me like that? Probably because your outfit doesn't scream private investigator. Also, it probably was obvious. Probably because your costume is that you're wearing a boob window, but also not the rest. <laughs> it's just yeah. the window floating in space. <laughs> yeah. Also, maybe this is why they were able to notice you were trailing them. Is because you dress like this. Like maybe if you dress more like a normal person, they wouldn't have noticed you. you. Would, yeah, you would blend a little yeah. bit. <laughs> I mean, I can't really speak to Dio, but you know, because he looks like some kind of fucking Chris Angel mind freak kind of guy, but. Tim you know, that's a regular outfit. Well, I mean, you don't really have the detective look. You got more of a defective look. <laughs> a day. The shade. The shade of it all. I didn't say I was a detective. Uh, then what are you? CIA? No. Fine. Well, whatever you are, don't look, you don't look like one. That's fine. You don't look like whatever you are. <laughs> In my line of work, the less I look like what I am, the better. A mistake? Better I keep them guessing. <laughs> no one's guessing about your tits. No, it's better that you blend. Yeah. It's, she's not doing it's it all. It's always better to blend. Unless you're an assassin. Then it's always good to stand out. Hey, what's the deal with you and Clover? What's she got to do with anything? Why, why are you reacting like you're surprised that anybody noticed that you had a connection with Clover? <laughs> Everyone is posing glamour shots at all times. I love it. Look at look at Dio's I love pose. Dio. I love Dio's pose. Look at his fucking pose. Wait, I can't tell. Is he wearing like? Wait, is he a is he a is he from a circus? I feel like he's currently tuxedo mask. That's no, no, no. That's like a circus outfit, right? No, I mean just the pose is like oh. so odd. It would be. I, I could imagine him throwing a rose right Maybe now. Maybe he's from a Beatles cover band. Uh, wow. Okay. okay. He got kidnapped in the middle of covering. A... What was he doing? A was he doing a cover concert in Nevada? Like Vegas? yeah, they got kidnapped so... in the middle of being for the benefit of Mr. Kite. There will be a show tonight on trampoline. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know each other, right? I was thinking maybe you were related or worked together or something. Bruh, bruh. Okay, Dio, I, I love you, baby, but related? I don't. I don't think. I. I, I would figure pink hair uh, is. It's... I don't think her hair is naturally pink. She's had it for ten years at this it, point. It it's might. Natural. It might be naturally pink in anime magic. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, secondly, she I don't. Did, uh... Just that's kind of rude. Just because they both dress scandally clad doesn't mean they're, <laughs> they're related. I would be a little alarmed by the, her parents letting her use so much hair dye at the age of, like, four or whatever when she was originally kidnapped. Yeah, that's true. No. She has nothing to do with my work. She's just a friend that I met somewhere. Where's somewhere? In the middle of a desert. This is literally the fucking mummy! I swear to God with you! Yeah, it has to be her. So why is the- why yeah, is the- Yeah, I'm really confused with the dad part then. So the, what? We'll see. She's like Antonio Banderas. Uh, Antonio Banderas. What's his name? You say Antonio Banderas? Yeah, Antonio Banderas. What about him? I'm so confused. <laughs> it was, uh, it's like, uh, you killed my father and now you must pay. <laughs> oh. Uh, uh, Diego Montoya. Uh, Diego Montoya. Antonio Banderas is like, you must know how to tango if you want to date my daughter. <laughs> Didn't, I thought he played that guy. No. I thought he played that character. No. Oh. 
No, you're just, you're just wrong. Well, <laughs> you're wrong. Maybe I just, maybe like really like f mid thirties celebrity. It's not even the right decade. Huh? It's not even the right decade. He's Prin not thirty. No, Princess Bride was. It's not. Oh. Thing.